Got the Centec 98614 OBD2 scanner. Got this thing probably four years ago. It still works. It's self powered. You hook it up to the OBD2 connector, plug it in. Linking error. And that's what happens sometimes. This is not a fault of this. It's got a battery in there. Battery checks is good. Check the battery. Yeah, I don't think it's linking up again. Linking error. So it's got a good battery, doesn't link up. Won't link up with this other module here to uh, they use hooks to a laptop either. It's always done this. This is not the Harbor Freight. Okay, just check the cigar fuse, 15 amps. That was okay for the cigarette lighter. Tried the room fuse. That was okay. I went through and kind of strange. Actually got some data here. what on this car seemed to be uh, when it pukes. This is a 1995 car. It's not fully OB2 compliant and what happens is that generally when it starts to screw up it drops the damn using this Harbor Freight Centec meter or I use one here that I have that hooks up to a laptop. It does the same thing. I've tried it on three different units. So you can't, the downside on a 1995 car, some of them are not fully compliant because the full compliancy started in 1996. A 1995 car, what it'll do is it will tend to uh, either not OBD2 at all or the one like this are sort of compliant in the sense that they didn't meet all the specs. Some do, some don't. This particular one, I've you drive around, you'll have an intermittent problem, it'll go nuts, and it drops the data link. It's very frustrating. On the Harbor Freight 98614. Got the thing at about 1500 RPM here. Spark Advance RPM. I'm looking at the dial, it says about 2000 right. There, pretty close. car didn't want to hook up the OBD2. I went ahead and tried the usual, tried the uh, glove box, cigarette lighter here. That had power. Unplugged it, plugged it back in again, checked the room light. Sometimes OBD2 is connected to that. Put that fuse back in and I restarted the car, started back up a couple times, plugging it in, trying a whole bunch of different things. And finally, I've got some data. The TP, I think, is throttle position. Got a little shake here because it's only down about 600 RPM. Got the check engine light on. They got the check engine light came on. We'll see if we got some codes. Read codes. Manufacturer specific codes are found. 
powertrain control module battery direct power circuit powertrain control module battery direct power circuit what the hell is that maybe there's a bad ground somewhere Pen 1794 right on some of these I got that just came on. I'm not even driving the car, I'm just sitting here. 